Hello and welcome to another Raggy's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Today from the Eversham Steam Brewery, otherwise known as Shepherd and Neem, because look at the bottle, the iconic Shepherd and Neem bottle. Obviously it's one of their brands. Uh, it's Whitstable Bay Ruby Ale, rich and full of flavour with a toffee and fruity finish. Sounds gorgeous. Let's dive in. In the case while the sun shines and the sun is shining. Oh yeah. Hopefully the wife won't disturb me on this beer review. I'm ruining another good beer review. But hey, -oh. so it says here Whitstable combines old seaside charm with a modern Bavarian Bohemian rather vibe. And this is bloody the light in his crap is reflected in the Whitstable Bay collection. Rich ruby red in colour, this flavoursome ale continues, what does that say, citrus, oh combined citrus and pine aroma with roasted toffee malt flavours to deliver a well balanced refreshing finish. God knows what that was, something's gone over in the garden. Uh, smell is citrus pine and I can't read that bloody word. Let me get my phone out. Shine the light on it. The light in here is not that great. I need to get a new light to be fair. You do what you do with what you got, don't you? Um, right, you see russet. You smell sweat. No, sweet. Citrus pine. On the taste is malt, sweet and full. I don't know. Right then. So, what's as confusing as to come? Let's pour a bit more out and get cracking on. Just mowed the back garden. Got to edge it off. Get a roll. And that's it for the garden tonight. Um, Got to clean out the fermentation vessel that had the lager in that's now bottled up and then get ready to start transferring both them ginger wines into that but I've also got to wash out the orange um, the barrel that had the orange wine because that's gone over now so all, all go definitely get the pine and the citrus in the taste Mm. on the nose <sighs> see it says here you smell pine and citrus but on the nose very subtle certainly in the taste you get a wallop in the taste it is kind of funny it uses um, even though it's called Whitstable Bay it actually uses the same bottle but we all know that it's Shepherd and Neem. That's all we need to know, isn't it? Yeah, so nice, nice pine and uh, citrus flavour to it. I would, obviously, there's malts there. With these beers, I would call them more traditional beers with a hint of citrus and pine rather than a full on craft beer. But flavoursome they are. Um, it's not bad at all, really, for what it is. Mm. So, subtle nose, nice twang, a little bit of bitterness. Yeah, not bad at all. Going down a treat, that is. Uh. Yes, tonight. Uh, I definitely need to start um, sorting out some of these uh, ginger wines and like, getting them bottled up and bringing my home brewing to a bit of a close. I've also got these two red wine kits here and here. Uh, you can't see either of them, obviously. Um, I need to put stabiliser in both of them and kill off the brew. They've had long enough to brew now. Um, so, yeah, I need to get them done and get the finings in and basically get everything wrapped up for the summer months. 
Um, on the home brewing side, unless I get something for my birthday, which I obviously don't know yet, um, even though I'm 48, um, we as a family don't tell what we're getting each other's. It's a surprise. Maybe a good surprise, maybe not so good surprise, but uh, it's a surprise nonetheless. A bit like Christmas as well, it's all a surprise. We'll drop hints to each other's. But the key thing is that it's a surprise. Now this weekend is going to be a slightly windy again. Not 40 mile an hour like it was the other week, but 20. Do I drop the gazebo down to protect it from the wind? Oh, decisions, decisions. It's a pain, pain in the arse dropping it down as well. So it's, it's not the easiest thing to do, but... Um, but I don't want me gazebo getting slaughtered by the bloody wind like it did last week, uh, about two weeks ago. I already had to glue it once. I mean, in three months, we'd have had about five or six days of crap weather in three months. Up until yesterday, when obviously it, it, it's turned crap and it's going to be crap. Although the sun's out now, it's quite nice now, so... Still in lockdown until June the 15th. Things, once the start of July comes, things are going to be uh, advancing at the right rate of knots. But people are going to have to get used to wearing face masks. Who knows what the future brings. Nice lottery would it be nice for me at the moment. Sell my own business. Get a big lottery then, set up a nice business. Employ some decent people that I know. Uh, I'd love it to set up my own brewery, mini little micro brewery with a few mates who are all beer fans. Bloody hell, we'd have a right laugh. And as long as we made a bit of money, it wouldn't really matter. Even, even the little micro brewery with a pub as well. A lot of things you could do with money. And I wouldn't, I wouldn't even want to be greedy. I'd just want to earn enough just to survive. You know, maybe a little bit of profit, a little bit of an expansion, but nothing major. Just enough to keep people in a job, keep it ticking over, and enjoy life. Because let's be fair, none of us want to work till we die. No way. And obviously in any job, if you're not happy, then, you know, or if you're made not happy, then, you know, getting out of there is, the, uh, is, a, is, a, is a key consideration. Although not easy in the pleasant present environment, there's a hell of a lot of people going to be out of jobs soon uh, when this furlough thing ends. But I do think the country will bounce back. I do think there'll be a resurgence, but not in the right way, not in the normal way, not, not until... Um, all the world get together with transport, with putting face masks on. I mean, how the bloody hell did you go to Spain in the 30 degree heat with a chuffing face mask on? Yeah, I don't know how it's going to work. Surely you can put some sort of uh, in air con systems, some sort of coronavirus spray that kills off coronavirus in the air. It's got to be the thing, hasn't it? I mean, we've got our own air con system in, in my front room. And it just makes you wonder if you, yeah, you could, there's an additive that you, you basically, sh when it sucks the air in, that you put in front, that sends the particles through, that actually kills the coronavirus. So, subtle nose, red russet colour, white head, on the taste, citrus and pine, goes down very well, very well, I mean, <laughs> Didn't even realise I was getting so far down. Lovely, traditional beer with a wallop of citrus and pine, in my opinion. Obviously, it's Shepherd and Neem from their, is it Faversham? Yeah, their Faversham Steam Brewery. I have to Google that, see if they've actually got a Facebook page. Um, Whitstable Bay, Ruby Ale, lovely. Um, definitely traditional beer. Uh, that's where it's aimed at. 
It's not aimed at the craft beer market. It's a toe into craft beer waters, but it's certainly not a craft beer. But what it is, is a nice, pleasant tasting beer that's not too over on the pine and citrus. And in that respect, thumbs up. Out of five. For me, 4.0 out of five. And jolly nice too. Right wallet then at the end. The right good bitterness. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Stay safe. Cheers.